Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 55 on Laplace transform. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to obtain Laplace transform of periodic function. So before going for that formula, we just recall the definition of periodic function. We are familiar with periodic functions. We know that if some function has graph which is repeated in some fixed interval for example suppose this interval is 0 to 1 and uh, suppose this is the graph of some function say f of t in the interval 0 to 1 now if this graph is repeating in every interval of length 1 then we can say that this f of t is a periodic function so here we can see the graph of f of t is same in every interval of length 1 therefore function f of t is called periodic function and period of f is the length of interval in which we have same graph this is graphical meaning of periodic function and mathematically suppose i want to define a periodic function then here i can see that in every interval of length 1 function has same graph that mathematically we can express by this expression f of t plus 1 and f of t are same for all values of t for example if i consider t equal to 0 then i must have f of 1 equal to f of 0 so f of 0 is 0 here f of 1 is 1 so in that way for every value of t here f of t plus 1 and f of t are equal therefore we can say that this function f of t is a periodic function of period 1 in general we can define periodic function in this way a function f of t is said to be a periodic function if there exists a positive real number say small p such that f of t plus p equal to f of t for all t and this number p is called the period of the function f we are familiar with periodic functions we know that sin t is a periodic function of period 2 pi and we know that if we consider sin of t plus 2 pi then 2 pi plus t means we are in first quadrant and in first quadrant sin is positive therefore sin of t plus 2 pi equal to sin t for all t therefore sin t is a periodic function of period 2 pi similarly cos t is also a periodic function of period 2 pi and tan function is a periodic function of period pi so this is the meaning of periodic function if there exists some positive real number p such that this condition is satisfied f of t plus p equal to f of t for all values of t in the domain of given function now here we are going to discuss the formula for laplace transform of periodic function so we have ready made formula for the laplace transform of a periodic function that i have written here the laplace transform of a periodic function f of t with period p is given by this formula 1 divided by 1 minus e raise to minus p into s here p is the period of given function integral of e raise to minus s t times f of t with respect to t from 0 to period of the function and this is defined for positive values of s so this definition is similar to the definition of Laplace transform if you recall the definition of Laplace transform it is Laplace transform of f of t equal to integral from 0 to infinity e raise to minus st f of t dt so in this formula instead of upper limit we have instead of infinity we have upper limit as period of the function and this factor is multiplied with this integral 1 divided by 1 minus e raise to minus p times s this extra 
factor we have to remember which is to be multiplied with value of this integral integral of e raised to minus st times ft integral from 0 to p so using this formula if we know that our function is periodic function we can easily obtain the laplace transform simply by taking integral of e raised to minus st with f of t from 0 to p so we understand this uh, result with the help of this example here we are given one function which is defined as f of t equal to k if t lies in between 0 and a and value of function is minus k if t lies between a and 2a where this k is positive and this a is also positive so we can understand the graph of the function simply for understanding here our function is taking only two values positive k and negative k suppose this much distance is k and here i will have somewhere negative k and our interval is of length 2a in 0 to a value of function is k in a to 2a value of function is minus k in 0 to a value of function is k if t lies between 0 and a value of function is k so here my graph will be constant up to this up to this point i will have this type of straight line segment and similarly in a to 2a that is from this point to this point value of function is minus k so roughly uh, we have this type of graph in a to 2a we have this type of graph and it is given that f of t is a periodic function period is 2a so in every other interval of this length we will have this type of graph repeated so uh, if we consider this type of dotted line then our graph will repeat in another interval of length uh, 2a suppose this is 3a and uh, somewhere here suppose i extend this and somewhere here suppose this is 4a then our graph will repeat in this interval in 0 to a i have k so in 2a to 3a i will have value of function as k and here it will repeat like this in 3a to 4a uh, we have this type of graph so this is the meaning of periodic function here in this interval 0 to 2a whatever graph we have in this interval that graph is repeating in this interval also and graph will be same in every other interval of length 2a therefore this uh, function has period p equal to 2a and this type of function is known as square wave function so this is meaning of this uh, function which is given uh, find the laplace transform of the square wave function of period 2a defined in this way and uh, students who are in electrical or uh, ec branch they will have this type of square wave signals when we when they will be studying the course of digital signal processing or power electronics in their higher semester courses so there you will require this type of functions so this is the reason i have just briefly explained the graph of this function this type of signal is known as square wave signal in the language of uh, digital signal processing in the examination you don't have to sketch this graph unless it is specified if they specify that sketch the graph of the function and then find laplace transform then you have to sketch otherwise this is just for understanding our main role is to answer the laplace transform of this function so for that we will use this ready-made formula we will take p equal to 2a in this formula and it is just the matter of integration so now we uh, here we first write that here 
period of given function period of small f of t is given as p equal to 2a and now we find out Laplace transform of f of t so as we discussed this uh, ready made formula is going to be used 1 minus e raised to minus p s integral from 0 to p e raised to minus s t times f of t dt then we put the value of period period is p equal to 2a so we substitute p equal to 2a e raised to minus 2a s integral from 0 to 2a e raised to minus s t f of t dt now value of function is different in 0 to a and 0 to 2 a so we have to break this integral into two parts integral from 0 to 2 a can be written as addition of integrals from 0 to a and a to 2 a in 0 to a value of function is k so here we put f of t equal to k in a to 2 a value of function is minus k so here we write f of t equal to minus k and uh, then we integrate with respect to t so now we try to integrate uh, we keep this as it is integral of e raised to minus st is e raised to minus st divided by minus s limits of integral r from 0 to a this is in the product here we can take negative sign outside and uh, or we can keep it as it is because we are having minus s here negative negative will be positive so here because i have minus k i am writing only s integral of e raised to minus st will be e raised to minus st divided by minus s and this negative sign will cancel out and uh, then we will put limits of t as a to 2a and this is in the product of this quantity so here we have just uh, put the formula of integral e raised to minus st divided by minus s in both of these integrals now we substitute limits of t first we write this as it is 1 minus e raised to minus 2 a s here upper limit for t is t equal to a and if we wish we can take this k which is independent of t outside this and uh, first we put t equal to a so we have e raised to minus a s divided by s and minus of lower limit and this minus will be plus e raised to t equal to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 and we have 1 by s similarly here first i have to take t equal to 2a so i have e raised to minus 2 a s divided by s minus lower limit is t equal to a so here i have e raised to minus a into s divided by s okay fine and uh, i can see this 1 by s which is common in every term so i will take it outside 1 minus e raised to minus 2 a s and here i write s this is going to be e raised to minus a s e raised to minus a s with negative sign two times so first we write this quantity 1 then we write plus e raised to minus 2 a s and minus e raised to s minus e raised to s that i write as minus 2 e raised to minus a s and uh, this now becomes k divided by uh, this is as it is 1 minus e raised to minus 2 a s and if you observe this or we can write one more step i can rewrite this uh, numerator as 1 minus 2 times e raised to minus a s 
प्लस ई रेस टू माइनस ए एस होल स्क्वेर ओके सो आई हैव री रिटर्न दी टर्म्स दिस इज नाउ के डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस टू ए एस एंड दिस आई कैन अगेन राइट एज स्क्वेर ऑफ दिस वन माइनस ई रेस टू माइनस ए एस होल स्क्वेर and uh, here also i can rewrite e raised to minus 2 as as e raised to minus as whole square okay fine so now you can see again i can separate this using the formula of a square minus b square i can rewrite this as 1 minus e raised to minus as Times one plus e raised to minus a s, and uh, we keep this as it is, one minus e raised to minus a s whole square. And uh, now uh, we rewrite all these things. We consider k by s outside. Here one minus e raised to minus a s will cancel out. So in the numerator we have. One minus e raised to minus a s divided by one plus e raised to minus a s. This is the Laplace transform of given square wave function. If we wish, we can convert this in terms of hyperbolic function also. And for that, uh, we can recall this formula. We know that tan hyperbolic x is given by Sine hyperbolic x divided by cos hyperbolic x. Sine hyperbolic x is e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by two. Cos hyperbolic x is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by two. So two will cancel out. So if we wish, we can convert this in terms of uh, this tan hyperbolic function. But here. Uh, we are having one here so what we can do is uh, we can multiply numerator and denominator by e raised to as by 2 suppose i multiply numerator and denominator by e raised to as by 2 then first i multiply this by e raised to as by 2 so i have e raised to as by 2 minus e raised to minus a s we can write one more step into e raised to a s by 2 same thing here we multiply denominator by e raised to a s by 2 so i have e raised to minus a s into e raised to a s by 2 and uh, this again i can rewrite as this e raised to A s by 2 as it is minus this is going to be e raised to minus a s plus a s by 2 that is equal to e raised to minus a s by 2. Same thing in the denominator e raised to a s by 2 and this two will give me e raised to minus a s by 2 and now you can compare with this formula. e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x equal to tan hyperbolic x so you can compare the angle angle is e raised to as by 2 here so using this i can rewrite this as k by s this is tan hyperbolic of a into s by 2 so this is the laplace transform of given periodic square wave function whose period is p equal to 2a sometimes they will ask you to prove that uh, prove that laplace transform of square wave function is given by k by s times tan hyperbolic as by 2 so in that case you have to go up to this step otherwise you can stop at this step also you don't have to convert this into hyperbolic function but sometimes the question is like this prove that laplace transform of f of t is given by k by s times tan hyperbolic as by 2 so in that case you have to convert 
up to the desired form so here you can see this is very easy to obtain you can just remember this formula for laplace transform of periodic function and they have already given the period also here you are given the value of period you just have to integrate from 0 to 2a and uh, take care that function is different in 0 to a and in a to 2a therefore you, you have to separate here after this step we have to break this integral into two parts 0 to a plus a to 2a and after rewriting you can obtain your desired form for the Laplace transform of given periodic function. So in this lecture we have discussed the formula for Laplace transform of periodic function. So whenever you are given a question of finding Laplace transform of a periodic function then you must use this formula only 1 divided by 1 minus e raise to minus p s times integral from 0 to p e raise to minus s t times f of t integral with respect to t so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching